It is about the investigation of whether or not the emperor will be tried for war crimes or whether he will retain the position of emperor in Japan and that the United States will help to rebuild Japan under, that, under those circumstances. I think I've been very uh, lucky and, and blessed. I had to fight for some of these actors to come, but it was worth it, and I believe that they would. Tommy Lee Jones is an iconic American actor. He's strong, he's intelligent, he's powerful. MacArthur had all those qualities, and I think Tommy is, is going to be fantastic to watch as the supreme commander in this movie. What is it about Douglas MacArthur that's intriguing? That's a very <laughs> Good question, I suppose. It's easy to answer. He's intrigued people for over half a century. He played an important role in, uh, in the development of world history. I, I bear no resemblance to Douglas MacArthur whatsoever, but it, it helps to put on a military um, hat with lots of fruit salad on the front and some dark sunglasses and um, a corn cob pipe. I think you look a lot more like Douglas MacArthur. For Matthew Fox's character, Fellas, it's a difficult journey because he keeps on coming up against these impenetrable and difficult Japanese characters. But Matthew Fox is a very special actor. I think for a while I was thinking, who could it be, you know, who, who just fits so perfectly and, and he loved the script. I thought Fellers was... Um within the context of our story, it was just an incredibly honorable man. He's very much under pressure. He's only got 10 days to make this determination at the same time that he's looking for Aya, wondering if she survived the war. 